Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. So about two hours of hiking and we have reached our campsite for the evening. This is beautiful, lovely riverside, nice, nice flat areas for pitching the tent. And I'm looking forward, I'm looking forward to getting this bag off my back, I tell you that much. Now usually when I come wild camping in the lakes, I like to be up high, you know, on a summit or at least very close to a summit. That way you get 360 views, but I've, I've come for a bit, something a bit different today. I've taken a bit of a risk and I'm actually down in this valley. Well, I say down in the valley, it's a high plateau valley, so we're still altitude, we're very high, but we're still surrounded on all sides by giant mountains. It's like a big glaciated bowl. Um, so I'm not sure how that's going to work out for photography, especially with the blue skies that we have. Um, I really don't know, but what I'm going to do is get this off, get settled, have a snack, and then just wander around, see what I can see, see if I can find a composition. I'm not going to get my hopes up for it. a ton of images in this video. You know, to be honest, if I can find one decent shot for this, this evening, I'll be happy. So, maybe rather foolishly, <laughs> I've brought two cameras with me. I've got my, well, I suppose if you want to split hairs, I've got three cameras because of the video camera. Actually, four cameras because of the drone. So, yeah, but two stills cameras. I've got my GFX 50R, which is my main workhorse, my main landscape photography camera. But, last minute, without any thought, <laughs> grabbed my infrared camera. I was just, it was in the van. I was gonna shoot some infrared tomorrow because we've got a lovely sunny day. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna bring it with me on the hike and see how it works. Now I haven't shot anything with it yet, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I've just brought it just in case. My, it might come out this evening or tomorrow morning. Um, but at the minute I'm, I'm unsure as to whether or not it was worth carrying this up here. <laughs> So I've been looking around my campsite, this beautiful area, looking for compositions and images, and I am really struggling, really having a hard time, um, which is strange, it's, it's bizarre, and I don't, if you're not a photographer, you probably won't get what I'm about to say, but like, you can be in the most awe-inspiring environments, yet not see an image anywhere. Um, and it's, it's this whole thing about just because something looks good, just because it's a nice view, doesn't necessarily mean it makes for a nice image. Long story short, I'm actually heading back the way I came by about, it's not very far, maybe half a mile. And there was this bend in the river with a beautiful peak that was just in the background of the river. And I'm thinking if I go back there, because that, that was a lovely camp spot, and there might be, it's, it's, there might be more opportunity for an image there. Oh gosh, I've got to jump the river with my rucksack on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Didn't look very far, just a big step really, but I'm telling you, bag weighs a ton and it can just throw you off balance like that. It's the right location. It's a beautiful location. Ah, it's just on the wrong day, maybe the wrong time of year, but I am struggling. I've come up a hill. <laughs> As I mentioned before, that I was camping down in a valley and we're surrounded by these little notches, these little hills, so I've come up one, uh, which has opened up this huge view in front of me, but again, I struggle to see an image here. And it's, ah, maybe, maybe I'm just being a bit, um, oh, maybe my expectations are too high. But uh, great place to sit, but I just don't see an image. That's all right, you know. I'm not gonna put too much pressure on myself. What I'm gonna do is head back down to the river, 
set up camp, have some food, relax for the rest of the evening, then who knows what tomorrow morning will bring. And should it be <laughs> that I upload this video without any images, then that is how it goes. And that's the thing with this channel. I, I try to keep it real. I try to, you know, like um, show the highs and the lows. And actually by no means is this a low. I don't want this to come across negative. Just, uh, yeah, it's just a, a photo shoot, but not too many images. But hey, camping out in the mountains on a beautiful summer's evening. Yeah, I can't complain too much. Well, once again, ladies and gentlemen, we are changing our plans on this hiking, wild camping and landscape photography trip. <laughs> I was going to camp down by the river, lovely bend in the river, nice flat spot. And I got there and realised that I was surrounded by cowpat and then hoof prints. <laughs> and then I looked in the distance and could see a herd of cows. I had no idea there were cows up here and, you know, I'm not um, no agricultural expert, but common sense tells me I don't want to camp where there are cows, especially when it gets dark, the cows get thirsty and come down to the river for a drink. So I'm going back up, back up to the, uh, the viewpoint there where there was a little area to camp, safe away from cattle. having one of my favorites today which is a uh, beef stew with pearl barley I've had this before and uh, it's 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 by far the best dehydrated meal I've had I've yet to master the technique <laughs> of the perfect pour I always usually burn my fingers one way or another 15 minutes but uh, usually I like to leave them a bit longer because yeah, after 15 minutes, they can be a bit crunchy. Alright, so, sunrise I believe is at 4.45 in the morning. We're about getting on for 11 o'clock now. So, yeah, I've got a few hours sleep. Ah, oh, but I have to say, oh, it's very cosy in here. Got a bit of light, there we go, a bit of light on us. Ah, oh, even though it hasn't been a successful photography trip, and it's been a, a bit of an annoying camping trip, just, you know, back and forth between different pitches. Uh, yeah, sleeping in a tent on a beautifully peaceful mountain, no one around for miles. There's a lot to be said for that. If no one's, uh, if you're watching this and you're thinking about going wild camping, Oh, definitely, definitely advise it. Just don't do what I did. Just maybe do a bit more research. <laughs> That's it. All right, I'm signing off, and I will see you in the morning.
Well, good morning, everybody. Ah, it's currently 5 a.m. and the sun is just starting to rise. It's a beautiful morning, slept really well last night and woke up this morning feeling far more positive than I did when I went to bed last night. So I've come for a walk from the tent, about 200 meters. So this view, beautiful view overlooking the river here that leads up to the Scarfell range, which are these mountains we see in the distance. Actually down there, just there roughly, is where I was going to camp last night. Uh, but obviously decided against that. Now I have got a composition framed up, but I don't know if you can see, there's a bit of a problem. And that problem is an aeroplane trail, a contrail. And it's going right through my shot. And as I speak, as I record this, <laughs> there's another one coming through. Uh, so currently my beautiful frame is being littered by air traffic, which is, uh, it's a frustration we all face as landscape photographers. So I've just added a circular polarizer onto the front of my camera. It's just, we've got very blue skies, uh, no cloud at all, well, <laughs> apart from the plane trails. Uh, but the polarizer just gives me more contrast. It, it cuts through a bit of haze in the atmosphere and makes that sky a much deeper, richer blue. So we've added the polarizer for a bit more contrast and a bit more uh, pop. All right, it's photography time. <laughs> the light is starting to catch the mountains there. I'm, shoot, I'm just gonna continue to shoot as the light changes. I'm at F16, which will give me nice sharpness from front to back. breakfast we are having coffee and porridge a classic a staple on the landscape photography camping trip <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what I'll tell you what there are worse places to enjoy your morning coffee this has been really nice frustrations yesterday absolutely but uh, this morning was, was good, this morning was good. I mean, we didn't get epic conditions, you know. Probably didn't even get an image that's gonna enter into the portfolio. <laughs> enter into, the, oh man, I don't know what I'm saying. We didn't get an image that's gonna go into the portfolio. But it's just, I don't, these camping trips, they're not, they're as, as much about the outdoors and just spending time here uh, as they are about getting a collection of images. Um, so yeah, fantastic. Let me let me drop in the sponsored message um, before we pack away and head down. And that might be the end of the video, but I'm wondering if there might be some shots on the way down, uh, especially because I have my infrared camera with me. So today's sponsor is Squarespace. If you don't know who Squarespace are, they're an all-in-one website building platform. So if you need your own website as a photographer, get an online store, your online gallery, contact page, your own domain, you do it all through Squarespace using their simple drag and drop platform. So it's basically a very user friendly way to build a great looking website. They've got 24 seven customer support. And if you go to squarespace.com forward slash Heaton, you can get a free trial. And if you like free trial, you can save 10% on your first purchase. So thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this. So usually when I break down camp and you know, do my sponsored bit and all that, that's typically the end of my video. But the sun has just broken through. It was quite hazy and cloudy a few minutes ago when I was packing away camp. So I've just come up to this hill just above camp to have a look at the view and it's absolutely glorious. So I've got the GFX out to have a look and it's nice, right? It's, it's quite a nice shot, but it's not, I don't know, it, it doesn't strike me as, as being, you know, like a wow image. It's, it's okay, it's okay. Anyway, my point is, 
that I brought this all the way up here. This is my infrared camera, so I want to see how this is. I love the composition, I do. It's just the light and the, the atmosphere, or lack thereof, wasn't quite doing it. It's like one of those scenes where you look at it and you think, right, I'm going to come back in better conditions, and I would love to. But I've got the infrared, so I'm going to see how that looks. Yeah, yeah, this is great. The infrared looks great. The, the GFX, that sort of standard image, you know, the regular spectrum of light that we can all see. It was just lacking something, lacking the atmosphere, but with shooting the invisible lights that we can't see, man, it looks great. It's just, it just brings this whole new dimension of photography, this whole new dimension of atmosphere and feeling to an image. And I've got to say, it looks fantastic. The rocks, the rocks don't reflect any infrared light, so they're really quite jet black. And you can see we are surrounded by crags and rocky mountains. So we've got quite a lot of contrast, whereas the grass reflects all of the infrared light, so it's quite bright. And the composition's lovely. I'm, I'm really happy with the composition. Like I say, with the GFX, it just needed a bit different, you know, different conditions, light and atmosphere, but it seems to be working better with infrared. So that is camp broken down and there is no trace. Always leave no trace apart from a little flat patch on the grass which will spring back probably in the next half an hour. Um, so yeah, it's turned out it's been, uh, it's been quite a good trip. I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. A beautiful hike up. This is a middle bit where I couldn't, you know, couldn't decide where to camp and I was feeling a bit frustrated but all in all, uh, I've really enjoyed myself. I have a book available if you want to support the channel. There'll be a, a link in the description below, 100, over 100 pages, images and stories from within the field, all of course landscape photography. All right, bye bye, bye bye. I know, couldn't resist, couldn't resist a dip. Might need to adjust the, <laughs> the brightness of your screen. Yeah. Woo, woo, woo. Oh. oh yes, that'll do it. That'll do it.